What is up, Legends? I see a lot of people that are struggling with the Terminid faction on various Let's different difficulties, the and today I want to show you guys the best and Let most effective way I consistently manage to pull off Helldiver difficulty runs completely solo. So we'll be going for a random mission here and today let's go over this Helldiver difficulty game where we'll be going for all main objectives, side objectives, nests and trying to break our personal kill record. We'll be going here for this ore mission here, it usually has quite a lot of enemies so it'll be quite fun. And as we go through this game, I'll try to keep, uh, keep some tips flowing and tell you guys what's going on through my mind as we go on about this. Let's have some fun and spread some democracy here. So I'm not going to lie, we will be using the uh, best loadout in the game. I am not going to uh, pull back any punches. Yes, we will be using the meta loadout, guys. Sorry, I know a lot of people hate the word meta but it's the truth <laughs> um so yeah we'll be going here for the rail cannon strike the 500 kilo shoot generator pack arc thrower stamina enhancement primary is going to be the breaker secondary is the redeemer um and that's about it yeah we're also using the scout armor set as well to give us that extra speed and allow us to kite as many bugs as we possibly can. So as soon as we start, we always call in shield generator pack and an arc thrower, and we spawned right on a spore spewer. Let me get rid of that. So underneath spore spewers, there's always uh, kind of like a, a little swarm. So we're gonna go ahead and deal with this first. So when you're dealing with groups in my uh, personal preference I prefer to deal with the hunters first they're the top priority and the second highest priority uh, is going to be the chargers so every time I'm fighting a group like this I'm looking out for the hunters getting rid of them and of course trying to focus down the chargers as much as I can as well especially if we got multiple chargers because we don't want to get overwhelmed and just die for no good reason so underneath uh spore spewers as you may know there's also lots of samples we'll also be uh going for an extraction this game uh we'll be try we'll be trying to get lots of samples and extract with lots of samples as well so i'm intending on doing all objectives all nests Get a bunch of extraction samples, you know, just the whole deal. We're going to be hitting them here with a rail cannon. And I heard that you can... All right, that worked. <laughs> I heard that you can rail cannon uh, strike a bio titan and then only shoot him about five, six times with the arc thrower and it's dead. Um, but I am not entirely sure. Um, since they nerfed the 500 kilo bombs... I've been looking for uh, another efficient way to deal with Bile Titans. So we threw here the 500 kilo bomb just to get rid of this rogue station. And we're already down two side objectives. So uh, one thing that I have mentioned in my previous videos, I will quickly mention this again on this video. Uh, someone made a Reddit post. By the way, we got the radar station right in front of us here, which is absolutely perfect. We're going to be doing that. Someone made a reddit post talking about how patrols work in this game and essentially keeping it simple um, the more main objectives you do once you complete the main objectives there will be more patrols going around the map also essentially the more bug nests you do the more patrols there are keeping it simple I mean I would recommend reading the reddit post it's very good information very very good Whoever made that Reddit post deserves a lot of credit because that could not have been easy. Um, but anyways, the reason why I said that is uh, we will be getting rid of nests early on in the game. Essentially forcing the game to spawn a lot of patrols. Um, I do not recommend doing this in your runs if you want. I'm going to let this little guy here call for reinforcement. In your runs, just avoid nests like and avoid factories if you're playing against the automatons. Because they will just call in for more reinforcements, or rather, patrols. 
but in this game I will be taking out as many nests as I can on purpose to spawn more patrols on purpose because I want to try to get a new kill record I believe my highest kill record is 940 kills in one solo game I'm gonna see if I can hit that thousand might be a little bit harder because in this planet they don't have those little pouncers the the little guys yeah they they help add up to the number quite a bit but it seems like this planet type is not the planet type that really has pouncers so it's gonna be a lot harder we're really gonna have to fight a lot here i'm wondering yeah i think i'm gonna want to take down this bio titan as well so this is a good way to do it 500 kilo run to the bio titan Get him staggered and let the 500 kilo do the rest. Boom, there we go. So, if you just kind of run up to the Bio Titan's feet, it will try to stomp you down. You just kind of reach it, you get really close to it, and then back away right away before it actually does manage to stomp you. And what that will do is it will pop them in their animation and make the 500 kilo be much easier to hit now of course i know a lot of people are not going to be playing on helldiver difficulty i know a lot of people are going to be playing on lower difficulties and that's completely okay but i wanted this video to be done on the hardest difficulty so you could see what it looks like on the hardest difficulty uh going for all objectives nests bunch of kills all that shit um and if it's doable here, it's definitely doable on lower difficulties as well. In here, lots of samples. Already looking pretty good on samples. We got 11 different types of samples. I mean, we got, I meant, we got 6 common, 5 rare. Looking pretty good. So, we'd be better off ignoring this patrol, but I am going to kill them. So, one thing that I have been doing... I've always done it. If, if you've seen my videos, you know I always do this. That helps me a lot uh, against Terminids is I take the fight to them first. I find that uh, attacked, attacking the Terminid proactively... We got a Stalker here. Attacking the Terminid proactively has been working much better for me rather than treating it reactively like essentially instead of letting them attack first i'll always go and attack them first and it constantly gives you the upper hand it will mean you will have to get into a lot more fights that you generally wouldn't have to but i feel like against the terminid it's not only just a viable strategy but i think it's the best strategy now, this does not work against the automatons. As a solo player against the automatons, you should definitely play solo. Or, <laughs> you should definitely play stealth. Because uh, against the automatons, going aggressive just does not work. It just doesn't. I mean, you can pull it off. You can pull off wins. You can pull off wins playing aggressively, but it is not going to be consistent at all. Which is also why I don't really play much against the automatons. Because since it favors stealth play a lot, I don't find that to be very entertaining. I'm not much of a stealth guy. another bug breach here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep back pedaling and hitting them with the arc thrower focus down the charger since there's no hunter threat gotta back up though or else the bio titan is gonna spew on us finish off this charger okay now we can switch focus uh, i'm gonna be trying to hit him with the 500 kilo let me see if i can stagger him in place oh that shield just saved me Saved me so hard. Okay, we managed to pull it off. That's good. Already down to two Bile Titans. Quite, quite nice. Quite nice. So I had somebody asking in the previous video, uh, Flamethrower or Arc Thrower, which one is the best for solo play? 
honestly, both are really, really good. I think the arc thrower does take the victory, though. Um, there's less risk with the arc thrower. Uh, with the flamethrower, you need to really get you know, close to your enemies. And there's a lot of potential in self-killing. But the flamethrower is extremely viable. The arc thrower right now is definitely just the king of support weapons. There is no arguing about it. It's just the king of support weapons against the Terminate anyways, not not against the Automaton. And it's good against the Automatons as well, don't get me wrong. Um, but it may not be the best. But against Terminates, 100% the best choice. And then it's probably going to be the Flamethrower. Probably third place would, would argue it'd be the uh, expendable anti-tanks probably. Funny that the developer said the uh, the railgun's playstyle was quite brainless. <laughs> I can't. Well, I can't agree with that, man. I can't. Not when comparing with the arc thrower. I mean, I love the arc thrower. I'm having lots of fun using it, but it's dramatically easier to use than the railgun because it requires minimal aiming. Oh, I'm dead. I'm stuck. I can't move. Come on. Get me out of here. Nice. The railgun actually took quite a lot of aiming. It, it wasn't something that was like super easy to do. Dark Thrower on the other hand. Much less aiming required. I wish when they nerfed the railgun they would have just nerfed the damage. That would have been. That would have done it. Oh boy. We got yet another Bio Titan creeping up on us. Well, the patrols are starting to get a bit heftier, I think. Or is this still the same bug breach? Not heftier, but uh, I mean, they're spawning more. Actually, no, that's not true. We haven't even done a single nest yet. I'm talking, I'm talking shit. Ignore me. Okay, I choked for that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I totally messed that up. That hunter was uh, quite a tough little guy. Got to land on... What? Didn't hit him. If I can get him with the nade again. Where's my loot? Oh, it's back there. Should be able... Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so you can just orbital rail cannon their brain open. Not brain, but you know, their armor. And then just throw a nade in there. And it's goodbye, Bio Titan. Third Bio Titan down. A pin. So we're going to be going for the meters. first nest here. What I said earlier was wrong. The patrols have not been affected yet, as we have not done any nests, nor have we completed the main objective. I'm actually going to let that, that Bio Titan go. I waste... Uh, Time on him. I'm not going to be able to hit my personal kill record. Okay, so we're going to be doing this nest. This should accelerate the patrol spawn rate after we do this. <clears throat> Remember, six shots to the charger's face and it's a kill. We can keep counting that. That way, sometimes you're not really going to be needing to dodge because you know you can get that sixth shot off before it actually hits you with a charge. Groups like this prioritize the hunters, then chargers, then brute commanders. Hunter, Hunter, 
Archer. Three. I believe I've hit him three times. Three more to go. How'd you like the taste of freedom? Four, five, six. Helldiver, you are moving outside the mission area. All right, now back onto the nest we go. Let's try to get rid of this first nest. Uh, we got three bug holes left here. What? How did I miss that? So the playstyle with the arc thrower is fairly simple. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's very simple. You um, against the bugs, you just backpedal. You put yourself in a position where your enemies are in front of you, and then you backpedal and shoot. And that is it. <laughs> that that is it. Um, it's uh, much much easier than it was with the railgun. Much much easier, especially because you can use it to deal with every enemy type except the bio titan. But yeah, there's not uh, too much to it in terms of uh, handling your fights. Um, as the best loadouts, or yes, I will use that word, as the meta shifts, I will keep you guys updated with the best loadouts, and I'll be remaking videos like this and kind of talking about the most effective ways to, you know, get high kills and beat games on Helldiver difficulty completely solo. But as of right now, I will admit that uh, handling the bugs is... Uh, easier than it's ever been and uh also i guess i should mention a lot of people have been saying hey man stop making uh videos like this you're gonna get the uh weapon nerf but uh i just i, I don't agree with that mentality at all i don't i don't feel we should be so scared of the developers that we should hold ourselves back from making content or from talking about things related to their game because we're scared they're gonna take something away from us. I don't think that's a healthy mind state to have. But yeah, overall, I think these things should definitely be talked about. Shouldn't be kept in the dark. No reason to do that. It's a co-op game. We're all trying to help each other here. Four, five. What? Oh, I guess that was hitting his uh, left leg. I don't think it was actually hitting his face. Alright, so we've handled one nest, one of the primary sub-objectives. Patrols are starting, should start to accelerate here real soon, I believe, after we handle all of these nests. Ooh, we got a heavy nest here, so this should be 10 bug holes. Yeah, by the time we clear these, this nest right here, it will definitely accelerate the spawn rate on the patrols. Things should start getting a lot harder. 
A bug breach incoming. Oh, what? I did. Did he just spawn there? Didn't I just look behind me? Oh, that's crazy. Ah, uh, the game didn't let me uh, move my drop pod towards it. I was trying to slam myself into it. Lame. All right, we're going to try to make our way back here to the backpack. Uh, so we got two chargers to dance around with and the bio titan. No, okay, that's not good. Um, let me see if I can reach it here. Nope. Far too many bugs. Let's drop in. I'm going to be trying to throw the arc thrower kind of far away here. See if we can loot it back. In some distance. Kite them down a little bit. Uh, actually, I think that 500 kilo was off. I wanted it to hit the bio titan, but yeah, that's that's not, yeah nowhere near it. Now we focus down the group. The bio titan's got his uh, armor open there. I might be able to land a grenade. But does the art or not take it down? <laughs> okay, the grenade works wonders. It's fantastic. What is that? Four or five bio titans? I don't know. Either way, pretty good. Um, start to close these bug holes. Yeah, the problem about these heavy nests as a solo player is because ten holes is far too much, right? Unless you're carrying that armor type that allows you to bring six nades instead of four, it's quite tough to close. Let's try to do it anyways. Let me know if you guys would like to see any sort of a challenge type video as well. I'm always looking forward for different challenges. Actually, matter of fact, most of my video ideas kind of come up from uh, the comment section. Where people like make requests to say, oh, it would be nice to see blah, blah, blah. You know, I usually think, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make one of that. Somebody was asking. Oh, 34 kills. To make a video. Um, go like hyper aggressive and get a bunch of kills and do all nests and all objectives which is where I got this video from I was also thinking of maybe going over some of the less used stratagems I'll try them out on Helldiver difficulty as well I was thinking of that not sure yet. Get some, get some! Well, that little guy blocked the door. I hate when they do that. Yeah, see, we're already down low on nades, and we've only taken out four holes so far. And we got another bow titan. Oh, shit. By the way, when fighting hunters, yeah, dive is gonna be your best friend. <laughs> That's going to be the best thing you can do when they get close to you. Just dive. That's going to be key. Dive spamming, matter of fact, is like super, super powerful in this game. I'm going to try to stop that battle titan on that 500 kilo. Did I get him? Nope. Still intact. I'm going to have to use this other 500 kilo on it again. Uh, let me see if I can bait him. Oh, I think that was far. That was too far. Okay, that's good. That's good. That got him. What's five or six bio titans already? It's quite a lot. Okay, um, we don't have a resupply. We do have four nades, but we still got to get rid of five or six nests. Sadly, we're not going to be able to close them all off. I feel like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like I was hearing something behind me. Oh, 
Wow. I see. I couldn't get up. Try to get up so many times there. That's like the downside of the arc thrower. It does have uh, quite a bit of inconsistency with how it works. Like dead bodies, for example, right here with all these dead bodies, they kind of block the arc thrower's shot. Sometimes the arc thrower doesn't hit if they're too close. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, so we're still low on nades. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait it out though. So after this heavy nest, we got another nest up north. And a main mission right next to us. So let me just finish off this nest. We'll move on to the next primary objective. And uh, that's almost most of the map, I think. I, I've already done all side objectives and one of the primary objectives. Uh, we've also done two or three nests by now after this one. All right, that should be fine. Oh, God damn it. We missed it again. Ooh, we got another bug breach. Let me just close this nest finally. No way. Had a little guy coming out of the door as soon as I threw it. We got two bio titans now. Oh boy. We have. Oh, we got the ion storm going on. So stratagems are currently disabled. Gonna have to wait a little bit. Just gonna weaken down their forces. Still jammed. What? Did this little guy break dancing? Well. So we got our stuff back. Let's see if the rail cannon will do the job. Uh, I was wondering since. I had a right. What? No way. Oh, that was silly. God damn it. The game's not letting me steer towards it again. I really don't like that mechanic. Oh. I know that they, they put in this thing. <clears throat> Apparently, according to you guys, they put in this... This mechanic in the game that you can't steer in certain directions because it people were oh my god i missed that so bad people were abusing uh, an exploit where you could land on top of rocks and fight against the bugs and the bugs couldn't reach you which is why oh my god is that a third bio titan Let's see if that's gonna... If that doesn't get at least one of them, it's not gonna be worth fighting them. Nah, yeah. This is not gonna be worth it. I'm gonna end up spending like five minutes here before. Uh, so I'm gonna get my stuff here and I'm gonna go to the next primary objective. Yeah, as I was saying, the apparently the drop pod, you not being to, con to control it sometimes, it's actually intended. It's made to prevent people from landing on top of rocks, which is sad for people who don't intend on exploiting at all. Get some, get some! I wish you would just like, <clears throat> if you tried to land on top of a big rock, it would just slide you down instead of like it actually breaking your drop pod because drop pods have been useless these days not useless but like not as nearly as good all right so uh patrols are gonna be a lot more frequent now 
things are gonna get even scarier than they have been. That's about two deaths that I've done to silly mistakes. <laughs> Definitely try to avoid that. Did I land on the charger? Yeah, I did. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I couldn't loot that. Oh, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh, that's a hell pod right there. Nice. 17 kills. Quite nice. Right? So we charge right back. When you're taking out a bunch of uh, nests on this difficulty. You definitely got to charge. Can't take too long, I mean. You can't rest in between waves or else they're just going to patrol faster than you can actually handle them. Let's jump right back into this mess. Rid of this wave. Quite a lot of samples as well. 23 common, 17 rare. Pretty good. E4. Oh. Oh. The key is get distance. Back pedal and shoot. Back pedal and shoot. Let me know what your guys' uh, highest kill count is in a game. I'm actually kind of wondering, in a solo game if possible. I'm actually kind of wondering what's a really high number to go for. A thousand is 100% achievable. If you just get the Pouncer Planet and you force Patrol Spawn, you'll definitely be able to get a thousand kills. But I'm kind of curious what kind of kill counts you guys have gotten as well. You guys have seen in this game. I wonder if on grouped play there there are more... Uh, there's like a higher possibility of getting more kills or not. So this planet variation has a lot of good commanders, doesn't it? Thankfully they're super easy to... This is probably like the ideal um, planet type against Arc Thrower because I feel like this is where it's going to shine the most. The sponsors can be quite tough as they kind of jump on your face and the Arc Thrower just doesn't work effectively. All right, so we're going to be doing here the main objective. We have seven minutes left. I'm actually... Not quite sure we're going to be able to do this nest to our right here because I'm guessing by the size of it, it's a heavy nest. Meaning there's going to be 10 bug holes. Since we only carry four nades. It's, it's going to take at least one full resupply, maybe two. So that, that just might take too long to complete, but we'll try. Let's see what we can do. We do this objective first. We'll try to do it quite quick. I don't have a resupply, but no time to waste. We're just going to start this. The one thing I like to do in this 
objective here is to just go up this little hill on my left here. As I'm going to show you. So once we turn this on, a bug breach comes in. And I like to go up this little hill. I find out where the bug breach is coming from over here. Just and then just hammer them down. 500 kilo, try to bait him into it. I think that's going to be good. Perfect. That about cleared the entire bug breach. Oh crap, we got another Bio Titan coming. the rail cannon first I might oh boy I oh, actually almost got killed there I might try to nade him here oh. ice okay I thought I missed that first one good 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 which by the way this is why I carry I, I guess I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video but this is why I carry a rail cannon and a 500 kilo we take with the arc thrower it does allow us to pretty much only focus on stratagems I have to deal with bio titans because pretty much everything else we clear ourselves. Okay, that charger is just gonna take it. Let me take one out. Yeah, I know the bug breach didn't finish, but I'm gonna go ahead and start the next one. Now I'm gonna backpedal get a little bit far away from here i don't see where the bug breach is coming from is it does it okay it does i was wondering if it still came out from like the same place or did it come out from the other side of the mountain no, i'm not sure no yeah it's still there <laughs> i just like backpedaled into it all right Focus on the hunters. Oh. Hunters. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Bags empty. Alright, that's fine. Now it's just warriors left. Clear out the group. Quite fine. Alright, that's good. And I believe we have now officially finished all of the main objectives. Yes, we did. Okay, let's resupply here. Let's see we have a chance at this nest so i'm gonna have to reach there the one battle titan yeah i don't think it's gonna be doable sadly sadly i think i took a little bit too long maybe with the armor type with six nades i could maybe take this out i took too long on the other heavy bug nest i think i spent nearly 10 oh, minutes there you okay, see i don't have a resupply the resupply is on a two minute cooldown and there's two minutes until the game ends, so yeah, sadly it's not gonna be doable. Not not all the nests. Uh, I'm just gonna kill as much as I can now until the game ends, as well as I will extract. So we'll be getting all objectives. We'll be going for all extractions and still going here for the personal kill record. Now patrols are definitely spawning like once every like 20-30 seconds if I'm not mistaken. I gotta kill them really fast or else they respawn. So much that they'll overwhelm me quite quick.
see if I can land that. I th actually think that was a bit too early. Woo! That's perfect. Nice. If you have space like this, to be fair, the arc thrower is strong, but the, this map has been ideal for me. The planet type being brute commanders rather than pouncers is helping. Map type being very open, uh, open map as well has helped tremendously. It is strong, but this map is helping quite a bit. Down to 20 seconds here. Now we're going to be going into extraction mode here in a second. By the way, we have a lot of samples this game. Oh, crap. Four seconds. Got a bio titan there, but I can't deal with them. Don't have anything to deal. We'll just focus on the little guys. Pad that kill count. Got a minute and 42, so I'm going to start making my way a little bit back to it and pretty much taking out all of the points of interest on the way there. Four guys here. Yeah, pretty much this is the easiest way that I've found for dealing with Terminids. Is honestly, proactively be aggressive. I mean, you've seen here the gameplay with me taking on, taking out nests, which will increase the enemy count by a lot. Um, but if you ignore nests and you only go for primary objectives and side objectives, then it's going to be even easier than what you've seen here. So we got super samples as well. That's fantastic. This is going to be a pretty stacked extraction as well. So on the way back to the extraction, I have talked about this in previous videos, but we like to let the time run out and then run back to it as the plane is landing, because that way there will be nearly nobody in the extraction zone. Fight a couple more here. It's arriving. Gotta make my way there. Bio Titan. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. And I might be too far. Am I too far? Don't tell me I messed up on that. Oh god. Oh shit. Go, go, go. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Now I'm good, I think. Ah, okay, yeah, I'm good. Let me get the sample here. <laughs> There's usually a couple samples here. There's one here. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna look for any more. <laughs> that is so freaking close, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. That is pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much what I like to do to consistently win on this difficulty is just honestly just be proactively aggressive on the Terminid using an ideal loadout. Um, sadly, this loadout is a bit mindless. I had more fun with the railgun, but um, I believe I will. I might try to do this as well with... Uh, different weapons, different support weapons, maybe even a run without any support weapons and only using regular stratagems. Let me know what interests you guys, what type of challenges you'd like to see. I'm honestly looking for challenges at this point. Uh, I do try to avoid automatons, but if you have automaton ideas as well, yeah, generally automatons forcing stealth play isn't much my, my vibe. Let's see how many kills we got here. So previously we had 940. 
Ooh, nice. 959. Not quite to the 1,000 kill mark yet, but we will get there. Very soon, we will get there. Thank you guys for watching, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.